Hi, I'm Aaron Boot. Thank you for joining me. In today's short video, we're going to look at the comparative commonalities between the ancient Hongshan civilization and those of Mesoamerican Olmecs. Now, the ancient Chinese Hongshan are a prehistoric culture that rose to prominence in the far north of China around 4,000 to 3,000 years before the Common Era. Current archaeological evidence suggests a highly likely link to the eastern coastal counterculture of the Liangzhu via numerous exquisitely carved jade artifacts which wouldn't look out of place amongst the treasures of the Mesoamerican Olmecs, and with good reason too. Very little is actually known about the Olmecs, who were usually typified of rising to notability in and around Veracruz, Mexico, some 1500 to 400 years before the Common Era. It is however understood that this pre-Columbian society may have indeed flourished at least a thousand years earlier than thought, dating to around 2,500 years before the Common Era. With this in mind, it becomes a little more feasible that contact may have been made between these otherwise disconnected ancient cultures that were separated by the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. In fact, due to the nature of the ocean's currents accredited to the Pacific, there's a rather large and distinct possibility that these highly advanced jade working cultures may well be considered one and the same via a logical, if not shared, point of origin. The much famed giant Olmec heads are an ancient anomaly in their own right, but it would appear that they demonstrate a wealth of commonalities with much lesser known carvings of the Tang Dynasty, which were in extremely close proximity to the ancient Hongshan civilization in northern China during the same period of time. The example expressed here shows a plethora of shared facial features, including eyes, nose, and mouth symmetries, which clearly exposes to the notion of a common or shared train of thought. The next example shows the comparative characteristics regarding those of the Olmecs and the practically indistinguishable features of the so-called Laughing Buddha. The next examples here really wouldn't look out of place in a museum in China. Although we do find that these have been accredited once again to the creations of the Olmecs. And rather incredibly, the next example, known as the Laventa carving, shows the arrival of Viraculture, who was said to have arrived via the sea. This particular transportation shares a wealth of commonalities with jade artifacts also found via the Hongshan civilization almost 8,000 miles away. And rather astonishingly, we find the creations of ancient artisans found in French Polynesia in the middle of the Pacific Ocean appear almost identical to those of the Hongshan once again. They're unquestionably alike, if not completely identical. The fact that the east coast of China and the west coast of Mexico are separated by water, the distance comparative to almost the entire diameter of the planet, is of little or no significance. Due to the natural currents of the Pacific, any capable seafaring civilization leaving the shores of ancient China would in fact be carried to the shores of Mesoamerica, regardless of the lack of navigational instrumentation. The natural flow of these waters would in fact take any well-built vessel leaving the Americas past a multitude of French Polynesian islands and back to the shores of China once again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and please take time to subscribe to the channel as we continue our search for humanity's all too clear hidden history. Thank you for listening. That's the spirit.